Many countries' governments have taken various steps in building fully modernized mega cities to create a place to live in for the citizens of the country and boost the economy. Building whole new cities not only boosts the economy but makes countries powerful in the world. So countries are spending billions of dollars to build new islands and cities in water and land. One of them is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia came up with plans underway to build Saudi Arabia's smart city Neom. It is set to be a place in the desert unlike anything else on earth. Unveiling the project, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman said the 170-kilometer coastal strip in the northwest of the country would be free of cars and streets and have zero carbon emissions. Neom will be backed by more than $500 billion over the coming years by the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, as well as local and international investors. The smart city will be powered entirely by clean energy, a major step in Saudi Arabia's shift away from an oil-based economy. Confronting the traffic, pollution and infrastructure challenges that overshadow urban life in conventional cities, this futuristic development will prioritize walkability, clean energy and technology to create a new way of living. The $500 billion development will include smart towns and cities, ports and enterprise areas, research centers, sports and entertainment venues and tourist centers. The development will be spread across 26,500 square kilometers and will comprise several zones, including industrial and logistics areas. It is planned for completion in 2025. The plans include a network of airports, including an international one. A business and tech center is expected to contribute $48 billion to the kingdom's gross domestic product and create 380,000 jobs. NEOM is designed to respond to some of the most pressing global challenges facing urban areas and inspire an alternative way of living. The city will preserve 95% of the natural environment around the site, highlighting mankind's relationship with the natural world. All energy in NEOM will be 100% renewable from solar, wind and hydrogen-based power generation ensuring a zero-emission, carbon-positive ecosystem. The economy of Saudi Arabia is primarily dependent on revenues from the oil and gas sector. However, in order to reduce its reliance on the oil and gas sector, the government aims to diversify its economy through various initiatives including the recent launch of the Saudi Vision 2030 and the construction of economic cities. The government has launched projects to establish new cities at different locations across the country. NEOM's unmatched livability and economic prospects will be powered by a profitable economy that will pioneer the future of key economic sectors such as energy, food, media, water, mobility, tourism, sport, education and more. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's mega-project NEOM has already established unprecedented records of inventiveness, architecture and luxury living. Skyscrapers on the mirror line could cost one trillion United States dollars to build, the Wall Street Journal reported last year. Converting an abstracted mega opus into a tangible reality in the Tabuk province in northwestern Saudi Arabia is this great giga project. Amid Neom, which will be 33 times the size of New York City when completed, comprises the line, an elongated, linear, city challenging gravity, and Trojina, a year-round outdoor skiing resort built in a desert, challenging nature. Neom's Sindala Island, more extensive than Disneyland, is set to be a well-appointed paradise redefining lavish holidays, and the octagon-shaped city, Oxagon, could win the title of world's largest floating structure. These massive structures will be surrounded by giant fake moons, animatronic dinosaurs, robots and tropical rainforests, making Neom City larger than Kuwait. It may reportedly take Neom another 50 years to complete decades that will surely advent a new way of life. But the magic will also be witnessed as early as 2024, with Sindala opening its gates to visitors. So, how many of you are planning to visit Saudi Arabia? Let me know in the comments below. One of the unique features of Neom is its location, which is surrounded by stunning natural landscapes and the Red Sea. The city is being designed to be in harmony with the surrounding environment, with a focus on protecting local ecosystems and wildlife.
Inside Saudi Arabia's futuristic luxury travel destination, Neom. 33 times bigger than NYC. Crown Prince MBS, multi billion dollar project has a ski resort in the desert and a zero gravity skyscraper. Can you believe it? A ski resort in the middle of the desert? With its strategic location on the Red Sea, more than 40% of the world population can reach the city with a less than a four hour flight journey. This can transform them into an aviation hub. Saudi Arabia has been trying to diversify its economy for decades, as emphasized in Vision 2030, launched by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. But the dual shocks of coronavirus and tumbling energy prices have hurt its plans, particularly in the non oil sector, which is forecast to contract by 14% this year. As Saudi is trying to build such an ambitious project which will only run from renewable energy, it is likely to be impossible. As said in the description of Project Neom City, will be powered by 100% renewable energy, but as of 2020, Saudi imported its 80% food from other countries. And they are also buying land in other countries so that they can have food security in Saudi Arabia, and this is because of massive water shortage in Saudi Arabia. As Saudi doesn't have a river, they can't likely grow crops. 50% of Saudi water comes from a process called desalination. But this process is too complicated as this process is too toxic and requires lots of oil, which is against the principle of Neom. And if you guys think desalination can be done by renewable energy, but trying to desalinate water using renewable energy is extremely difficult or quite impossible. As Saudi Arabia doesn't have rivers, they can't generate electricity. The only method is from wind energy and solar energy. As Saudi aims for 50% of energy to be generated from these sectors by 2030, only 0.1% of renewable energy generated in 2019. Large, ambitious projects around the world often include various risks and challenges that may lead to project failures if not managed effectively. Similarly, Schönefeld Airport in Germany, which was initiated in 1996, Has undergone numerous change requests and issues with planning and design, and possible poor project management has led to an increase in the initial planned project cost from US$2 billion to US$7 billion before finally opening in 2020 after long delays. These cases highlight the considerable risks and challenges involved in large scale projects, which, if not managed effectively, Can lead to disastrous failures that not only affect the brand of the host nation but also creates an additional burden on the exchequer. A project of Saudi tycoon Prince Al Walid bin Talal's Kingdom Holdings, the planned 1,000 meters high landmark is intended to top Dubai's Burj Khalifa, the world's current tallest tower. Construction began in 2013 and was supposed to be completed by 2020. But only a quarter of the tower has so far been built. Such failures can lead to both waste of money and reputation. As the world's second largest oil producer, Saudi Arabia traditionally has had no need to borrow money, so long as government spending and royal largesse did not outpace revenues. But in 2015, falling oil prices forced the kingdom to turn to the international markets. That debt has increased as oil prices have remained low. Lower oil prices and COVID 19 prompted Saudi Arabia to borrow $26.6 billion after it burned through foreign reserves. The kingdom's population has grown fast for decades, doubling since 1990. But for Saudis born during the past 30 years, jobs are in short supply. Almost two thirds of the population are under 30, and most of them are unemployed university graduates, which can also be one of the challenges for Saudis. Oil revenues account for around two thirds of the kingdom's exports. But while Saudi Arabia was once responsible for nearly 30% of global oil exports, that figure has now dropped to just 12%. The sharp decline in oil prices, worsened by demand loss from the pandemic, has hit Saudi Arabia particularly hard. Neom is an incredibly ambitious project that's being closely watched by people around the world. It's a vision of what the future of urban development could look like a city that's sustainable, innovative, and in harmony with nature. But if not carried out properly, can be disastrous for Saudis. We can't wait to see what the future holds for this incredible city.
If this project is completed, will you visit Saudi? Let me know in the comments below. If you like our content, then subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. This provides us motivation to make such content. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.